That's why I went down and got I was like, okay. I, I knew you had just come up from a dive, so. Sharks are getting crazy. All right, so we're headed out to the next spot. You gotta see how clean this water is. I mean, this is this is just beautiful. Flat calm seas, beautiful clean blue water. There's a reason why they say it's better in the Bahamas. Nice. Another one. So before we went to West End, I just wanted to check a couple wrecks of ours. Um, we actually just found a brand new wreck. Um, that's the cool part. We're running across the bank wide open and we look off in the distance and we see a big dark patch in the middle of sand. So we roll up on it and boom, brand new wreck, lots of APs around. We got four, we have four divers, each person shot an AP. Epic. And we didn't really have any shark problems either. So normally I have tons of shark problems when I'm shooting fish in the Bahamas and we haven't had a single issue yet. So I'm pretty stoked on it. The day's still very young. We have a lot more to go. I'm excited to see what we have. sort of successful 25 30 pound black in the boat courtesy of tom davis yeah <laughs> tommy just shot what i think would have been a world record here tommy come here hold this thing up look at this look at this they don't get this either. they just don't <laughs> you know the sharks are they're wicked down there for sure it's like the size of my hand yep. with the shark bite but We'll, we'll weigh them, but I think it might have been, might have been. Weatherman said it was gonna pick up around two. It's like nine o'clock in the morning. I think he was wrong. Oh. 
And these GoPros never do it justice. Definitely not for the faint of heart of today. We're gonna try to get this done fast so we can get out of here. Okay, zeroed out. No hands on it, you can see it clearly. Yep. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see this or not. There is ridiculous amounts of bait. Oh yeah, you can see it. Just hanging out, it's awesome. Oh, look. Little turtle. Today is a little bit of a scout mission. Uh, I called my good friend Barry who lives here in Dead Man's Reef and uh, we're checking some stuff out front. The reason why is it's looking like at the end of the week we're gonna get a ton of wind coming off the north side, uh, north northeast. So this is gonna be the only place that's protected from the wind. So we're actually looking for some heads out here. I actually just saw Anthony ripping across the surface, kicking really hard. I think he's on a grouper. We'll see what he comes up with. He's been down there for a while. Stand by, let's see. Got a grouper hold up. Let's see if he can get it, because we're gonna need to trade some, some grouper for ice. We ran out of ice. The thousand pounds of ice only lasted us uh, four days. Update, Anthony lost the grouper in the rock, but he's now chasing a 40 pound Kubera. like in there. Is there something that he could wrap around? I pulled that he didn't come at all. Joey and Tom left. Uh, we now have the duty of preserving this fish. It was already done with the fish print and all that. We've got the last of the ice left before we pick up our next batch of ice. That was it, but this water is ice cold. This fish is so cold right now. We're gonna go ahead and fillet it. I'm gonna cut off the head and do the skull mount for Joey. And then I'm also going to cut off the tail and do a nice tail mount. That'll be a very cool way to remember this moment and remember uh, having a world record. This is actually a world record that many people would probably like to have. So this one is pretty special. Thing's stupid big. <laughs> it's like almost unnecessary. Oh wow, look at little micro tarpon, dude. Um, dude, he's like sick, look at him. He's got, he's got what like in a fish tank you would call ick. Yeah. I'm gonna be using the 10 inch stiff Dextreme 
thing I like about it is it has the serrated part of the knife and then it also has the normal side and the normal edge. So what this does is I can cut through some of those scales and bones using the serrated, which would mean that I don't have to sharpen this edge nearly as often. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it. I like to come from right here behind the head and get in at an angle and go right to the anus. Some people like to try to keep this meat right here, but I'm actually not gonna do that because I'm gonna have collars. But this way here, I can kind of avoid all the unnecessary stuff going on. Again, coming back up underneath, and coming in and down this spine. See how big and how hard these scales are. This is a world record fish. It's a 23.8 pound. It's the new world record dog snapper that we got the other day. So using the serrated definitely is gonna save me on those other sides. So now I'm actually gonna still continue using the serrated to cut through this bone. But first I'm gonna cut down this side right here and separate the meat from that back. One that way. So now I'm gonna come in with the serrated side again. I'm gonna cut through those bones. And I'm actually saving the tail for this tail mount. So I'm gonna cut right here so I don't mess it up at all. This tail mount will be nice, I'll preserve it. It'll have some beautiful color to it. That is the meat. Here you can see where Joey shot it right here and it went in through the stomach cavity and it came right back out through here. He basically shish kebobbed it. Anyways, we actually have some black marks on it. That's from when we were doing the uh, fish prints. Anyway, so there's, it's non-toxic dyed paint. We shouldn't have a problem eating this. Um, keyword there, should not. Um, so same thing, I'm gonna actually come in here. Again. So the difference between this side and this side is that here I went through all these bones that I'm gonna have to cut around anyways. Here I kind of avoided it a little bit. I will literally find a little piece underneath this bone and I'm just gonna cut all of that out. Some people say, oh, you're wasting a lot of fish. I don't particularly like eating that type of meat that's right there anyways, and it's a pain. So for me, I'm gonna cut right along there. And see again how that serrated side is really coming into handy. And if you were to try to eat this meat right here, you can feel it's all bone. So it's not really something that, if you want to, you could throw this on the grill and maybe pick in between the bones, but for us, we're just gonna give it back and feed the little fish. A lot of people do and make the mistake of is trying to put the knife right against the skin itself. The reason you don't wanna do that is, especially with a snapper, so I cut right here, so I can use this as a place to hold my fingers. Snappers have really big bloodlines, especially a fish of this size. So I actually leave a bottom layer on, and I'm gonna show you real quick what that looks like if you were to go against it completely. So I actually went and took that bottom layer right here. It's literally nothing but blood, blood and fibrous tendon. For me, I don't mind leaving a tiny layer on the fish because that's not something I'm gonna to wanna to eat anyway. Here we're having an issue with a little pin bone. So I just send it with that extra serrated part right there. Boom. So you can see here where I did a better job of staying off that skin up top here. Here I didn't do too hot. But again here, let's just say you were to keep all of this. Normally people would go like that, right? And go all the way against that skin. What are we really saving here, guys? So one of the things I like to do is come in at an angle like this because the bloodlines run like a triangle like this. So you can see where, as soon as I go on underneath an angle like that, boom, right? And now we have lost those bloodlines. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Again, coming in at that angle right there. And again, I'm not cutting straight down here because there's still plenty of meat there. You just wanna angle it. And again, you can see 
see that triangular shape that I cut. That top layer is all blood. Blood and pin bones. And see guys, because I didn't go against that skin the way I should have, I ended up having to cut that off anyway. So this, I'll go ahead and cut that into three sections. I'm gonna cut this one right here. Boom. It's like a handful of size. That means super white, look at that. So we're gonna go ahead and bag this up. I put my longer pieces on the bottom. Fill up that bottom nice. Put the pieces here. 